After 25 long years, our radar on the National Weather Service is getting some much needed maintenance. Davis Nolan stopped by the office today to see these improvements, what they involve, and to find out how it's going to help Middle Tennessee stay safe during severe weather. Well, the next red Doppler radar here at the National Weather Service has served us well through every severe weather and flooding event since 1995. So now it was time for a little maintenance so it can serve us for another 25 years or so. This radar has brought us through such historic events as the 1998 downtown Nashville tornado, the 2008 deadly Super Tuesday tornado in Macon, Sumner, and Trousdale counties, the Good Friday Murfreesboro tornado of 2009, of course, the terrible flood of 2010, and the more recent March 2020 tornado outbreak that ravaged Middle Tennessee. And that's just to mention a few. The maintenance started today with the removal of the ray dome. That's the big fiberglass sphere that protects the radar from the elements. It was quite an operation to have a crane lifted off the tower and lowered to the ground. So they took the, the dome off so they could easily get to all of the interior stuff and they're going to actually replace, I believe, replace and rebuild the pedestal, which holds the dish. They'll, you know, clean all the bolts, they'll clean everything that needs to be done, and then they'll eventually put it all back together. And then we'll have it for the next, you know, 25, 30 years again. Work on the radar will continue through next Friday, August 12th. Meanwhile, on News 2 Storm Tracker Radar Network, we'll be utilizing the next red Doppler radar at Fort Campbell, as well as the FAA's terminal Doppler radar located in Nolansville, the National Weather Service radar in High Top, Alabama, and also the National Weather Service radars in Paducah and in Memphis. I'm meteorologist Davis Nolan, News 2.